It's the 4th of July. We just got Rory down to sleep. We need a beer. So when we were at uh, the Royalist Market the other day, we got a few uh, new stouts. This was one of the other stouts. It is from a local-ish brewery. It's from Highwire Brewing. It's out of uh, Asheville. Isn't Highwire opening a location here in Charlotte? Could be. There's a couple of Asheville breweries that are opening satellite locations here, and with Burial and Glamari, and I think they're putting Highwire in where um, Salty Parrot used to be. Oh, cool. All right, well, they're going to have a, a local location here soon. All right, so this is their 1040 beers. Now, it's, uh, I mean, it sounds like more royal, but I think that's all their stouts. And that's kind of an interesting thing. They have a 1040, they have a 1030, they have some other ones. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a 5W, 40, whatever. Yes. This one is their chocolate creme brulee. Imperial stout brewed with caramel, vanilla, cacao, cacao and lactose. It is a 8 percenter, so that's a good one. And it's tall boy, so it's a whopper. So, I'm gonna you know listen to some fireworks. I'm not sure we'll have some on TV. I'm sure yes. there'll be some. Maybe we're shooting them off Kate last night. Hiding behind me because she hates fireworks. Cake is no fan. Oscar seems to he be indifferent. He's just like whatever. So let's pop this movie over. All right. So I can smell the chocolate right off the bat. What are you getting? Like a lot of chocolate. Yeah, strong chocolate vibes. Not like that. Like again. It is not stout season, but uh, these were too good to pass up. And a four pack of these was twenty ninety nine. That's ridiculous. So they had singles, so I just bought two singles, and I bought two of the uh, the peanut butter ones we had last night. So yeah, twenty ninety nine for a four pack is is insane. I mean, I know, you know, there's more ingredients. This isn't a Bud Light, for Christ's sake, we're drinking or some nonsense. But, uh, you know, twenty ninety nine seems a little steep. All right, so that's got a great head. That mm -hmm. looks great. It is dark brown, if not black. Yeah, or progressively behind it. Okay. Still has a very, very rich chocolate mm. scent to it. There's a lot of that burnt sugar note. Oh, it's very good. With a real nice caramel finish. This is like a, this is definitely a winter beer. This is excellent. Like, but it's very good. Yeah. It's a little bitter, but not crazy. But it, the, with the sweetness, it balances out nicely. Yeah. It's got real deep chocolatey notes to That's it. That's very good. Yeah. Chocolate creme brulee, the name is correct. That is, yeah. those, that, those are the flavors that you're getting. It's not one of those beers that says, like, oh, this is going to taste like pie, and it tastes like not pie. Yeah. This is not a light beer. I, I have no idea the amount of calories there in this sucker, but we're probably in the three to 400 range, I'm guessing, for this puppy. No. No? You don't think so? Zero. Ze oh. Yeah. Because the, well, I don't know if that's true, so. But uh, it is delicious. Uh, this is definitely only, more. There's 10. Just 10? 10. 10. Well, probably that zero needs to be next to the other zero over there. It's probably closer to 400. Never. <laughs> Anyway, not a light beer. It's got a lot of flavor. It has a lot of uh, complex notes in there. Yeah. So I get the chocolate, definitely. There's a whole flavor. There is vanilla. The There's definitely caramel. The sweetness. Lactose, eh, I mean. That gives you that mouthfeel. And yeah. it also helps with the sweetness. You get some sweetness off the lactose. But uh, this is excellent. I definitely recommend mm. this. That's yeah. a, it's a, it drinks like a nice dessert. Beer. It's a dessert beer, yeah, absolutely. But it, it, like you said, it's not light. You don't want to have this all. after a huge meal because you'd be very full. Yeah, but I'll have no problem finishing it. Oh, I'll yeah. probably have some ice cream with it as well. So you know, mm, I might have a drumstick. Oh, yes, not a chicken drumstick. <sighs> all right, so ten W forty chocolate creme brulee. Um, <clears throat> They have a bunch of other ones, like I said, these 1040s, 530s, whatever. Uh, if you go to their website, I'm sure you'll have a bunch of them. Uh, very good. Give it a shot. It's mm -hmm. it's out of season. I can't. I don't know. I don't know when this was bottled or canned. Three one twenty two. Oh, it's oh, that's the expiration date. So. Uh, it doesn't have a boron date, but it's good until 2022. That's this year. That's this year. Oh, then it was the boron date. Three ten twenty two. Is this okay. packaged right over it? Package no. three ten twenty two. I can't read. So okay, so that that isn't that long ago. So no. they might still be on shelves, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's only almost four months. Yeah. 
you know, the shelf life of these things isn't great. I mean, yeah. they don't really put out a ton of them. So, well, anyway. This all is right. excellent. still tastes fresh. There's no flatness or weirdness or, it hasn't gone sour. Not at all. No. I mean, we've had beers that are far older than this that taste just fine. So, and the, the fireworks are already starting. So Even that's, though it's that dark our, outside, yeah. yeah. Come on, amateurs. You know, we'll give it like 30 minutes. All right. That's our cue to, to end this. Yeah. Hence, so. the cake is still hiding behind. Should be hiding there all night. So, all right. It is what it is. All right, happy 4th of July.